Afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to this buddy build with James and myself. And we are building a space shuttle. Got out this mm. shiny. <laughs> Okay, folks, so like I say, we are going to be building the space shuttle. I've got that big box out of the way because it does literally take up the whole desk. And also got on the bench at the moment is the manual. Um, now, a lot of people have stated that this thing is quite difficult to build, James. Yes, I can't believe you put me up to it, but yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So apparently the worst part is the shuttle. The boosters apparently aren't too bad. So looking at the instructions, it has us build the short part first anyway so how are you doing i'm good mate you yeah not too bad in fact it's finally got a little bit of sunshine so yeah i've been on holiday for two weeks and we had a little bit of sunshine yesterday and a bit of sunshine today oh, and back to work back to work in uh, two days so uh, it looks like it's going to be nice and sunny all next week so yeah it is what it is yeah Wait, guys, such law, I think they call it. <laughs> yes. Right. So, just to make people fully aware, we are streaming <coughs> to both channels. So we are streaming to Mickey Models, and we are streaming to the Model Officers Mess at the same time. We, I don't think we've done this before, have we? No, we, we purposely done it as a... As a trial, we'll see how it goes. Yes, a little um, test bed to see if we can boost to both channels at once. But I've got both channels open, and it seems to be working fine. They seem to be pretty in sync. Oh, impressive. So, yeah. So, anybody in chat, please say hi. If mm -hmm. they're watching on both channels, so please say hello. Let us know you're there. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, we do have uh, Scott from the Jump Works saying good afternoon all. So good afternoon, Scott. Hope you're doing all right. And uh, we have a Richard Cave, LBPPA, saying hello. Now, I don't know which channels these are coming from. So it doesn't really matter, to be perfectly honest, because we're getting to see all the chat coming in from both channels here on StreamYard. So and there's Lisa's Craft Station saying hi, Scott. So Lisa is here saying ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we should, have you decided which one you're going to build yet? Because on um, the details, we do have several options. Well, I've, my my main thought was I'm going to build the white one. Yeah, it's a good idea. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm going to go Endeavour, i got to be honest. Just, All right, okay. Um, just along the lines that it's uh you know gonna endeavor to do it properly <laughs> yes so i'm going to go i have to go with the enterprise with being a big star trek fan so i will be going with enterprise uh, oh we've uh we've got kevin stevens joining saying afternoon carl james and all watching so afternoon um and we have sarah jane here as well saying uh so hi sarah jane she says she's just applying decals, so it'll be a little while. It's going to be an awkward one. So, uh, yeah. at least decals aren't as bad as photo etch. No, that's true. <laughs> and I've just realised I've not said hello to anybody <laughs> while you've been busy calling those that out. So, hi, Richard. Well, hi, am, Kevin. Am, hi, Lisa. Hi, Scott. I, I am the chat <laughs> dolly this week. It'll be yourself next time. So, yeah. Uh, and we have scaly models. I've already said that. I'm saying howdy, gents best of luck with the build lol because i do believe <laughs> that mike has built this yes did uh, one thing i do want to ask you though did you get yourself some filler i do have some filler oh that's right um then. and here it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh so, yeah, you've got two tubs. <laughs> no i do have some filler so it's only humbrol stuff, but it's good enough just for filling yeah. big holes. So we might be lucky. We might have the kits that don't actually fit together too badly. So. Well, I'll be honest, they're the ones I ordered. So 
you know. Yeah. So, I mean, yourself being a star, obviously you'll um that they would they wouldn't have said you're a bad one, and I just begged. <laughs> well, I didn't. They didn't send it to me. I actually got this from. Where did we get this from? Did you order it? So I'm just asking Lisa because it was a Christmas present from Lisa and the kids. So. Mm. I'm not sure where she got it from. Oh. She, she's, she, she's watching on chat, so she's 10 seconds behind. Because <laughs> she's time to run out of the room quickly. Yeah. <laughs> so um, everyone's saying hi to Mike and to Sarah Jane. Sarah Jane says she's watching this channel, but went and liked the other one as well. Ah, oh, bless your heart. Yes, indeed. And we've got Mark Scheller saying good afternoon. So afternoon, Mark. And that's a good idea, actually, if anyone is watching on my channel, the opposite of Muddle Officer's Mess, or Muddle Officer, sorry, make sure you pop over to Carl and like the video yes. as well there. And Support the both way around. Yes. Indeed, yes. Right, shall we crack on then? Yes, yeah, I'm just going to continue with chat, so you can you can crack on. So... With me being this chat dolly this this time round, and it'd be self next time. So there you go. Lisa saying it was from Amazon. So yes, yes, they better send me a good one because if they haven't, there'll be trouble. And um, we've got Dave joining us, saying hi, Carl, James, and chat. So evening, Dave. Evening. That's because I'm used to doing evening stuff. Afternoon, David. I hope you're doing well. <laughs> Afternoon, David. Uh oh, and troubles in. That'll be Dan. Oh, no. Dan. Oh. Dan Dan Quano man saying hi all. Oh. <laughs> so afternoon, David. Hope you're doing all right. Oh, this is jolly exciting. I was caught up with a chat. So I haven't even taken any of these out of the bags yet. Oh, it's a big thing, isn't it? It's a monster. Sorry, look at the size of these things. Jeepers. It is a monster. It's nice though. This'll be my first space shuttle build. What about yourself? Definitely my first. Yeah. I'm not gonna say whether it'll be my last or not yet. It's definitely my first. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut up. Yeah. <laughs> Probably I just realised realize what you said then. If you want to know, watch this space. Oh well, yeah, no, I could, I can, I can talk about that. Um, it, <laughs> yes, it uh, it won't be my 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 only space shuttle. Uh, the reason being is, at some point, um, <laughs> things haven't quite worked out the way they should have, basically. Uh, and I'll I'll come back to that in a minute and explain why. Uh, so what I've done, or what I'm going to do, is uh, there's a lot of talk about uh, is the, are we about to see a big change in our hobby, i.e. Um, are we going to buy our kits like this in the next 10 years' time, or are we going to be buying a PDF file and printing it ourselves? Yes. So I thought, as as I'm a complete nutter, as you know, um, I thought what I would do is I would do this exactly that. I would print to yeah. the best possible ability that I could to the same scale a 3D printed space shuttle. Yes. So the reason I'm saying it this way is because what I'd hope to have done um, is had it all printed mm -hmm. um, and put up a video before our build comparing yes. the two. But unfortunately, I've had a few problems with the printer, completely self-inflicted, uh, and I haven't got all the bits ready. So uh, if you can hear a slight buzzing in the background of my microphone, that is because I'm literally, as we speak, printing a booster rocket. Is that the last part? Um, no. <laughs> no. I think I've got, I think I've got one more print to do. Yeah. So what I will hope to be done, or sorry, what I will hope is that um, come the next time we do this, yes, I should have it all printed. Oh, happy days. 
um, and then we can uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, uh, and you know, surface detail, bloody 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 blah. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's all three D printed in resin. Um, <laughs> and we'll see how good I am at printing in resin. That's well, we all know the, the for those that do have a three D printer, they do know the trials and tribulations that three D printing causes. Mm. Because it is what's the best way to describe it? It's not exactly straightforward, shall we say? You don't you can't it's, just like say, right, I want to print that, put it into yeah. the, into the printer and print it. It's not quite it, that simple. It's not quite shake and bake yet. Yeah. But it's getting there. Now that more yeah. and more people are buying, it is actually starting to they can invest more, shall we say, on development of bigger, better, faster models. Yeah, absolutely. And just there you go. That is one of the failed prints of said booster that I'm printing at the moment. So yeah, hold on. They will just make they will be used. Made. They will be used in a in something else at some other point. Yes. Um, but yeah, unfortunately. But there you go. All part of the fun of three D printing. <laughs> okay. So. So I have to say, it's a beautiful fit. Is there an element of sarcasm in that? Just a little. It's actually um, not as bad as I was expecting. So I think it's going to be a matter of gluing it together, leaving it to dry, and then we're just working on it. Coming back to being smooth. Because there are little gaps and little steps and stuff in it. Yeah, the gaps aren't huge. That uh, you can see them, but they're not exactly massive. Not on this one anyway. I don't know what yours no. is like. No, mine's not too bad. I got to be honest. I'm I'm reserving judgment because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to tempt fate. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah no it's um yeah not too bad resolvable you got to love a nice bit of sand in oh yeah what's life without sanding exactly uh, right so i need that part where's that part there right, so. 106. Both. So, that both over. Just put that on the floor a minute. Okay. <laughs> Sarah Jane saying, uh, put both, uh, to Quanaman, put both channels on and get free stereo sound. <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah, well, I think we confused Dan as well. He said, I thought I'd go bonkers and set the reminder on making models and then found the same stream on the mischievous officer's channel. Spent hours thinking, I'm sure that stream was on Carl's channel. <laughs> <laughs> and he, apparently he blames you so well uh he's right to do so indeed yes absolutely and, uh, i'm not oh, trying to say to, to dave that we are just trying to confuse him so oh hello what's up you found something yeah. oh yeah the fun begins and frankie's saying carl don't say don't say this, Carl. If it's a good fit, I'm going to get jealous. Well, um... <laughs> have, you, have you have you hit the first issue? 
No, um, I am. I'm considering. Basically, you got um, the back part that goes into the shuttle here. Yeah. Um, fits quite nice, quite snugly at the top, quite nice. Mm -hmm. But then there's a gap at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I just look at it and go, uh -huh. okay, could this be where everybody gets there? Gets the alignment wrong, which then creates the issue in itself. Right. That looks quite strange that it should. Yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, suddenly my the gap is a lot more increased by putting this part in. Right, okay. So, it could do with maybe a little so, very fine sand off the edges. Take a bit off. Yeah, yeah. Bring it down a little bit, I think. So those of you that are in the in the chat, how many of you actually built this models? Uh, mm. How many have you had issues? What issues did you have? What should we look out for? Yes. Oh. And this doesn't like sounding very well either. Oh, it's not the best plastic for sanding, is it? No. What is that all about? So tune in next week when we make panzers. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Dave's saying like and watch on both streams. So start. Does like to jump in this stream yard, don't say, doesn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. So Scott is saying uh, we have started using three D printing at work for our masters and prototype pieces. Ooh, ooh, that's on the jewelry, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Well, I say it's a fortune on like a sculpture or. Oh god, yeah. Cut down on waste is what I would thought, wouldn't it? Yeah. Mark Shellard saying, try cutting the alignment pins off. Yeah, if I look at the alignment pins on this, you've got the nice pins there. On the other side, the actual holes they go into aren't moulded very well at all. No, they're not. And Frankie, Frank goes to Hobby when he's saying, can you both show the cockpit section? to the camera please <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> oh, that's a cockpit section let's pop this together so can you see that let's do it Make make yourself big. Take a look at mine first. So there's the my cockpit section. So <coughs> you can see the top part of the window there is quite misaligned. You can see that or is the white too much? Let me bring that down a bit. Yeah, it's just you can see it's not a great fit there. It's different sizes, different lengths. The bottom section lines up quite well. But the top not so good well, the back is pretty much bang on but i haven't put that back piece in yet i haven't test fitted that yet so yeah it's not great so what about yourself james what's yours like so this is what mine is like i've put a tesco's club card in there to try and highlight the back with a different yeah. color yes mine's exactly the same as that yeah so yeah, it's, there's a step going on in the front here. Not very good. Um, let me let me let me do this one second. Uh, 
there's a lot of stuff going on in the background there we go, there we go. so oh sorry i've got a wobble on <laughs> it's a problem being this fact see once you start wobbling you can't stop <laughs> um but yeah so i've got a bit of a step on the window um yeah. oh, come on and the, the top part as well is uh, a little bit skew with but yeah it's 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 okay it's manager bubble yeah what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just change this map so sarah jane is saying she's applying a decal that wraps around the back of a race car has to bend all over the place and it's going to be a problem one oh. i've never really applied any big big decals to anything It's always been like little small stuff. I think the long, the longest one I've done is like on a plain wing. Where it's like a long thin strip. But that's just onto a flat surface, so nice and easy. So Dave is saying that. Uh, that he's not had this kit, so he's not got this one. And Sarah's oh. saying she's never built a spacey thing either. Oh. oh. Yeah. Now, the one thing that I'm I am considering here, these ejection marks, they've got to come off, I reckon. Wouldn't you think? And which way around does it go? No, That's because just... I think the inside actually covers up. Well, I'm going to have the door shut, so it doesn't make any difference, really. But yeah um we got anything that sticks onto this um, no no so i'm going to take those off you're going to sun them down are you i'm going to take those off and how are you going to do that well, I'm going to use a chisel. A nice modelling chisel. Let's see. So Frankie's saying he's had gaps all around and he did a lot of filling and a lot of sanding. So and Kevin Stevens is saying, haven't built one yet, guys. Hopefully I'll learn a lot from you twos. <laughs> <laughs> you might learn a bit of language. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure it's uh Yeah. I'm not sure how we build one, but yeah. Yeah, Dave is asking how much was the kit? I don't think they're that expensive, are they? No, it's not an awful lot. Uh I think I picked mine up for uh, twenty pounds ish. Yeah. Off, off the top of my head. Um not a huge amount of money. Oh, some nice gouge marks on there. So glad I did that. More practice re required with chisel. I've nearly finished the um, the shuttle as well. And quite You've nearly close. finished the, sh the shuttle. Uh, yeah, my other shuttle. This is my. Second oh yes, yeah, sorry. This one. So it's all gloss coated now. So it's just got a very quick wash, and it's done. Because it's not going to have that much weathering on it. Nice. I can mount it and it's done. Should be interesting. This clamp doesn't like to stay on. Stay. So 
Frankie saying ours does look a lot better than his. Well, <laughs> they say, oh my God, a step. That's a car parking space. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it was rather large. Stupid chat. <laughs> so Scott saying, oh, uh, cockpit close up. I didn't think it was that kind of stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you should know by now <laughs> when we're, we're in the same room together. Uh, no, let's stop that because <laughs> yeah, that went wrong. <laughs> Well, my piece there actually fits in bang on. Yeah? Yeah. But I have sanded it a little bit. I yeah, I think um, I think a little bit of sanding is a good move, definitely. Yeah. Gonna glue that just yet. Yep. Just trying to work out where this piece goes. Six pairs of arms here. What's that? Yeah, this piece on. Uh, one oh one, one oh two. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of man saying, I think you should chop all the bits in half for an extra challenge. And this is the idea: is a no way me trying to get my own back for earlier confusion you two caused me <laughs> oh and we have uh, a lewis in us a lewis in with us saying oh Ooh. sorry i forgot so afternoon lewis the model making oh. trucker <coughs> afternoon lewis so, yeah, to everybody saying hello to lewis <laughs> it actually is Mark Shellard saying, paint the back wall like toast. As it's the perfect shape. It does look like a slice of bread a bit. It does, yeah. And we have been joined by our William Rayborn saying, hi everyone, how is everybody today? Very well, thank you, William. Yeah. And yourself? Yeah. And we've also been joined by Brian Will saying, afternoon. Afternoon, Brian. Then Brian, hope you're doing well. A bit squeaky there. Yeah, you were. Woohoo! Everybody's saying hello to each other. And uh, Lewis is saying you picked it up off the top of your head, James. How big's your head? I picked what off the top of my head? I've no idea. It's Lewis being a bit strange again. It's all right. Oh, he's talking. I know what he's talking about. He's talking yeah. about the um, uh, price. Right. Got you. Okay. with stand by one there we go Lisa's posted a link to the kit on Amazon
leave that to dry mode. So, yeah, everyone's saying hello to each other. And uh, David asked, can I ask what the kit number is? Uh, yeah, yeah, kit number is uh, 04736. So there you go, 04736. It's a good chance that Lisa's already put that in. Oh, and quite a I think you need a How's My Driving bumper sticker on the back. <laughs> Frankie saying, I can't wait to see how the payload doors will fit in. So that sounds like it's another potential problem area right there. <laughs> 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 so it should be fun. And uh, oh, kind of man from kind of man studios is joined saying, Good freaking morning, you guys. So come on, kind of man. Hope you're doing all right. Long time no see. Indeed. Oh, yeah, so there's Dave just confirming it's up, up to £34 now. Wow, really? Uh, yeah, it's gone up a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, it's not cheap no more. Confirm this isn't a 48 hour build either, <laughs> just, before, <laughs> just before someone jumps in with that. Yeah, kind of like saying, Don't forget, he's across the pond in Florida or North Florida. So, a very good morning. Oh, there is some track on this, isn't there? Ah. Uh... There is on this little flap at the back, yeah. Not a huge amount, though. No, I'm not. <sighs> I've seen worse. Just wondering whether to film. Are you going to do you see this once it's completed? I'm tempted to fill it with sprue goo right now. You gonna you gonna feel what with sprue goo? This it looks like a rudder. Your flap. A flap. Yeah, flap. I'm going to fill the edges with sprue goo right now to save time later. But yeah. I can't go any further with this. I have to get that together until next time. Cool, boy. <laughs> Jeez. This is all over the place. <sighs> Wonder how much of this um, cockpit window you're going to be able to take out. Not a lot, I would think. Oh. So I'll be, I'll be tempted to once it's together. Yeah, my thinking was I'm going to get that. Let's to build that up with some sprue goo. Figure it out a little bit better when um, once the once the the, the uh, body's put together. Yeah. 
size though. Oh yes. That's that coming down. I like how it says um, in the instructions. Mm -hmm. uh, just here it's saying here detach with the knife so it's telling you that there's a problem there already you'll, you'll <laughs> yeah. need a knife you will need a knife yes. yeah yes yeah, so it feels like a, a quick revision to the book once the actual molded and the, the complaints have come in mm -hmm. saying it'd need a sticker on the window saying don't wind down the window to ask for directions <laughs> it's be like but who are you winding the window down to ask that would be more worrying yeah and kind of man saying he saw the shuttle fly across the state two times on the back of the 747 yes was that the enterprise the uh because that one never actually went into space, did it, the Enterprise? Did it not? No, it was the prototype. Mm. It flew on the back of the, the 747 a few times to test the aerodynamics. But it never actually went into space. Well, you live and learn. Mm. Indeed. I know so. it came over here as well, didn't it? Came over to the UK on the back of a 747. Did it? No, I think so. It. Unless I imagined it and I saw it some I saw it some other way. <laughs> right. I am dropping some sprue glue on this. Because I think you can see this. Uh, Frankie goes to Hobbywood is just saying there is a new Revell Space Shuttle 40th anniversary kit, uh, but he can't oh. find the information about it. It's a rebox or retool, he's not sure. Right. So it's the same kit, just not yeah. a shiny new box. Uh, but he's also put on there the kit number is 05674. Okay. Hmm. I can imagine it's a rebox. Yeah. Can't imagine they would have retooled it, or can you? No. Not all of it. Maybe. Maybe the two halves they might have re redone. Because they know there's an right. issue there. I can't see them retooling the whole thing. No, uh, if, if they're going to do something, it'd be the shuttle itself, wouldn't it? Because that, that's yeah. actually sold as a separate kit in itself just the shell yeah and the sold i think it's the same kit on the 747 is it or is that smaller i think it's smaller but i'm not sure that'd be a big 74 no because it covers quite a near enough all the 747 doesn't it mm -hmm. Put the back of it anyway That is that fill. Turn my light back up. There we go. So you can go and hide somewhere for twenty-four hours. Yeah, you know, that might be a problem building this. There are going to be bits that are filled and all the rest of it, and need plenty of time to dry. We may end up running out of things to do. Possibly. Looking at one hundred six. So the um, the seven four seven the shuttle is one one forty four. You're right. Mm -hmm. 
It is. Wow. That's mm. huge. Be enormous. Yeah, that wingspan. Wow. Uh, and I was just looking to see if I could find the uh, kit that uh, Frankie was talking about, and it's not on scale, mate. Oh. <laughs> not one team anyway. Scott oh Stadia. no, tell a lie. Right. Tell a lie. Um the fortieth anniversary space shuttle. Uh kit number zero five six seven eight is one seventy second. Oh. And it is just the shuttle. Wow. One seventy seconds. Um, What's that? So that is uh a rebox. It's a rebox with um, with new decals. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> and that's going for just under forty five pounds. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, Caravan saying, "You saying Kirk never went into space and it was all a dream." <laughs> <laughs> I am tempted to get a 1144 uh, NC 1701 Enterprise to put alongside this. Oh. I'm not sure if it's a thing. Might be a 3D print one. Possibly, yeah. What's everybody else working on at the moment? What projects have we got on the go? What are they building? Is anybody building along? No one would be that mad, surely. <laughs> Probably not, no. I think I've got away with that doing sprugly to that. Oh, Lynn snuck in. Afternoon, Lynn, or morning over there. He said, Hug James and Carl and everybody else. Now say bye yeah. and speaks out. So she's, she's working, so she's getting ready for work. Well, I hope it's a nice, good day for you, Lynn. Not too hectic or manic. Yeah, thank you for the hug. Indeed, yes. So Lynn is currently building this in Lego. And she's doing that along with James from, uh, I think it's RJC Lego. Over on YouTube. They're doing like a, a build together. 
and James is building the Razor Crest from Mork. Oh, not yes. Lego, it's from Mork. And that thing is absolutely immense. I don't know if you've seen it, it is humongous. It is humongous, yeah. And Lynn Shuttle, which is, I think, proper Lego, <coughs> excuse me, is looking really, really nice as well. Blimey. Cool, blimey. So the second part of our um, uh, what you call it? Our what? second piece of toast. Uh, yeah. So this is the bit that goes in the front here. Yes. In this section. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's poor. Well, I've taken really? all my um, thinking marks off that one. Really poor. It's the the shape is completely wrong. Yeah. Uh, the bottom's not too bad, but the top is all over the place. <laughs> yes. In fact, to the point where I wish I'd seen that previously, I probably would have replaced it with a bit of plastic card. Plastic card, yeah. But anyway. Anywho. Part of fun, yeah, I think I will probably glue that in once it's actually together. Uh, yes. So if you just drop it in and if it needs a bit more shaving off here and there, you can do it. Oh, yeah, that's not even close, is it? No, it's atrocious. That is bad. Let me show you. Can you see that gap at the top of there? Yeah. Right here. That is a huge gap. Look at the size of that. Yeah. It's That's not just... even the right shape. It just... It follows the curve around and then it just drops away. Doesn't fit correctly here either. Got some pointy things. Doesn't fit here either. Yeah. The bottom curve is not too bad and it fits up this side quite nicely. But yeah, once it starts coming over the top, you've got a big gap there. Yeah. Big gap there. But yeah, that's not even close. Should be fun. Oh, Scott's saying, uh, kind of man saying he's working on his breakfast. Oh, I haven't eaten yet today. Maybe I should have something. Yeah, no, I've, all I've had is some cornflakes, which I had in the garden. Yeah. So, and uh, Scott's saying he's working on six pairs of Scottish Primrose Drop enamel earrings. Mm. And Sarah J saying, I look forward to you sending me a free pair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think if there was free pairs going out, there'd be quite the queue, Sarah Jane. I've got someone sitting behind me that would be in that queue. I won't get a response yet because she's 10 seconds behind. So Dan has been singing as a song. Okay, so I can see some of it here. He says, one half of my song is in this chat and the other half is in the other chat. And the thing is, because I'm watching chat on StreamYard and not on YouTube, I get to see it all. And Lisa's saying she would definitely be in that queue. Yeah, so they actually build some beautiful stuff. It's is it Ozark, the name of the place, Scott? I can't remember. Something like that. Sound, thinking, it rings a bell. I'm thinking of a TV show there with Ozark. It's something like that. Let us know what it is, Scott. So Lynn's saying Ortak. That was it. I was close. Just no Z. And move some of the other lights around a bit. 
Lynn, she, Lynn's saying she's got the same kit, but it's the monogram one. So there's oh, wow, no chance really? it's just monogram reboxed, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I never even knew that was a thing when I first started making models. No. I would rebox somebody else's and sell it as a different thing. So some of these kits you buy, like I've got the Revel Apache AH64A. Yeah, I took it out of the box mm -hmm. and started to put it together. Now, that thing has got some flash on it. So I got halfway through build the cockpit and I thought, no. It went back in the box. Now, if you went out and you bought a telly and it was like in that kind of state, you'd take it straight back. Yeah. Why can't you do that with model kits? Take it back to the manufacturer and say, that is not up to standard. I want my money back. Paul, could you imagine? Mm-hmm. Because you're buying something that you want to snip off the sprue, glue it together, paint it. Most people, if you understand what I'm saying, if you know, if you bought a telly where you had to do, you know, you had to put all the screws in and you had to do this to it and you had to do that to it, instead of just in the wall and off it goes. I wonder what they'd say if you could do that. Or can you do that? Or does it say somewhere in the instructions that? This kit may take some extra work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This will, there'll be some manufacturers now being very, very nervous going, oh. I don't think there's any manufacturers watching this stream at the moment. <laughs> but hey, but you never know. You never know. Revel might have gone, oh, someone's building that shuttle. Let's go take a laugh. Let's go have a laugh. See how they struggle. Yeah, so... And then saying she might stick around for 20 minutes. Awesome. That'd be great, Lynn. She's saying hi to Sarah. And there's uh, Scott just confirming it's Ortac jewellery up in the Orkney Isles. And Sarah's saying she'll send a sick note for you, Lynn. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, right. I can't touch any of that at the moment until that is dry. Which isn't going to be for a day or at least. So I am going to skip that. I think we'll put these wings together. You need a good pair of heavy duty nippers as well for getting this off this sprue light. Oh, yeah. It's a nice thick sprue. So, how are you getting on? I'm okay. I'm actually going ahead and, and gluing uh -huh. the main, main frame. Yeah. With the use of clamps. <laughs> One or two. Uh, well, there are multiple, multiple clamps. We have clampage. It's okay. Houston has given me permission to clamp, to use clamps. So that okay. Good. Yeah. Are they uh, approved clamps? Uh, these are approved clamps, yes. Um Cost a couple of hundred thousand each. Uh, they work mainly zero G. 
in zero g uh, normally uh but obviously it's difficult to show that at the moment <laughs> or oh, tell me please tell me that's meant to be that big a gap he's just saying uh we're gonna need a bigger desk <clears throat> i don't I know if you can see that oh is that gap supposed to be there though i don't know i i hope to hell it is because i think that thing's supposed to be able to move up and down isn't it <laughs> and Scott's saying they do have 20% discount on this weekend over at uh, the jewelry place. Oh, all tech. Uh, yes, okay, I think it's meant to have that gap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if it isn't, uh-oh. I just thought if there's a 20% discount <coughs> off that jewellery, I'd better go and turn the internet off. Too late. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> too late that uh somebody's birthday this weekend as well oh wow uh that's gotta be the wrong way around surely surely to god yes okay At least there's a bit of detail on the actual body. Not a huge amount. I can see why people have um, been asking Colin for decals. Yeah. Oh, that's not too bad. The actual wing connection has little gaps, but not a huge amount. Very manageable, I think. That bit. Let's see the side like. Oh dear. It doesn't even fit together. Oh dear. Kind of man saying, I'm sorry I sold my Hasekawa kits years ago. I wish I'd kept them. And Dave saying, I think Carl needs another picture frame. <laughs> yeah, this side's not so good. Wow. Oh my god. Look at that. Um, right, now we have a spatial. Hey, look at that. Bit worse for wear spatial it's a special <laughs> so this isn't glued together yet right let's make, let's make you big screen if you're showing off potential issues um is that why now that is isn't it david's saying oh my god you can drive a tank through that gap so yeah uh there are gaps everywhere around the back of this yeah um to the point where I can only assume it's that way around. Um, and yes, you've got to the, be that way around, yeah. You, you've got your little wedge where you've got that great big gap. Yeah. So that does fill the gap to a degree. Mm -hmm. Like so. Yes. So it's not too bad. But the actual rear... <laughs> 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 yeah it's Bad. horrendous yeah oh my god yeah 
it's horrendous. <laughs> oh, what a great idea I had. Yes. So, um, yeah, so if I put this on here, uh -huh. uh, like that, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Um, let me... <sighs> it's whiting out so badly. Can you see that? No. No, James. No, James. All right. Let me let me try an app. There's an app for it, apparently. There's an app for that. There is an app for it. We just always going to want a bit of sprugle on the back of there as well. Those all wings fit together quite nicely. So James is saying to uh, Scott the Junk Works, ah, you're not getting your pair then? You must get a better discount. I'm a cheapskate is all. <laughs> and that three and uh, Sarah's saying that shuttle has a three pin plug connection on the back. <laughs> right, so there you go. Can you see right. those gaps? Yes. Is, is there in the gap? It, no, it's not it's not. It's manageable, but again, the problem is, is it's the wrong shape. A little bit yes. like the other part that goes in the front. It, you know, the shaping is wrong, which which is fundamentally Shame. pretty easy to figure out, really. You would think, but hey, all part of the fun. Don't forget, it is rebel. Oh, yeah, that's that. Where is that too? Or is it Rebel that originally made this kit? I have no idea. saying ah memories <laughs> is it memories or nightmares <laughs> yes i've been fun so far i've been fun so just to make folks aware this show Unfortunately, for, because of the way both of our work schedules fall, it's not going to be every Friday at this time. Uh, it's going to be as and when we are both available and not working. Thankfully, we were both off this week. I think you're working next week, aren't you, James? Yeah, I think so. So, watch this space. There'll be plenty of notice going up of when we will be going live. So, if you are interested in coming and watching us again, um, if you like a good horror show, come and join us. We're going to be here for probably about another 20 minutes or so, up to around about just before three o'clock. We'll be going off because. Do you believe Mr. Fox is going live at three o'clock today? For is yeah. I think it's Fallout he plays on a Friday. And we don't want to step over that. So there, thereabouts. I'm going to need some more clamps. You are going to definitely need clamps. Thankfully, I've got some. Uh, Close pegs that I bought are quite good pumps. Pound for the big box for all these things. Oh, you must have not sold them. These things. Yes. Box. Yeah, I've got some of those.
still in the ones anyway. Yeah. I have a feeling there might be a lot of downtime on this kit. <laughs> All right. Oh, yes. <sighs> I am starting to see that myself. There we go. So tomorrow at half past one or 0600, depending on where you are, uh, is James and I show on JC Bricks and Builds. Uh, Lynn is building the Lego Spatial Discovery and James is building the Razor Crest. So there we go. Tomorrow, half past one, if you're not doing anything, you're at the bench or you just want a bit of entertainment because they, they are things to see, especially the Razor Crest. The thing is immense. And that shuttle actually looks really, really nice as well. So head on over tomorrow, half past one. That's JC Bricks and Builds. Well worth a watch. Join in on chat. Oh. And Lynn saying, oh boy, I'm looking forward to this kit. <laughs> so Sarah's saying she's going to try and catch a stream to, to Lynn. And David's saying there may be a bit in sight. It is the monogram mold. So there we go. It is a Reebok. Yeah. Oh. And Lynn's confirming, yeah, it's a Rebel. For it is the Rebel. David High Hugs. She does have the monogram one. Oh, she jumped again. Okay, so no Fox a day, he said earlier on Facebook. Okay. Well, okay. So Fox isn't on today, so we'll see how we get on. We don't want to bore you for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure how long I can control my... Uh... Yes. <laughs> my language say, skills. Uh, Mike, a.k.a. Dad, is sitting there with a thousand-yard stare thinking, the horror, the horror, remembering this kit, so... <laughs> And there's William also confirming that Fox has posted you know, that he's not doing any live stream today. No Fox on today, folks. You heard it here second. <laughs> so Dave is saying Dr. Frankenstein and Igor will return now. Who's Dr. Frankenstein and who's Igor? Master. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> so, Dave is saying, I now have one stream on the big 55-inch 4K TV and the other stream on the little 24-inch PC monitor. Anyone want to try guessing which one of this two is a very big boy? <laughs> hey, 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 hang on a second. <laughs> I see Lynn what you saying, did there. Lynn's saying she bought this one way back in 1980, the monogram one. Yes. So. And uh, Mike is saying, I'm loving it, Scott. Lol. It's good to see somebody else in pain, huh? Well, mine's, mine's going together surprisingly well, I've got to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Squeeze and then <laughs> say, No, Fox, I always look forward to Skyrim Saturday. Well, that'll be tomorrow, Lynn. Because don't forget, today is Fallout Friday. So there's a good chance Skyrim is still on tomorrow. Watch this space. Watch this space indeed. Oh. What are you throwing about? Is that biscuits? No. No, no, no. No biscuits. I don't want anything to put me off. <laughs> just sit here chomping biscuits instead. Uh, Dad's just saying to re reminding me of those words. I don't know what I've said now, but yeah. I may have, I may have made a comment or two about him 
and uh, shuttles. I might have. I don't know. Well, Mike's a big fan of shuttles, isn't he? So yeah. Well, it's a shame we didn't invite him because you know expert really. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we'll ask we'll get him to come on one 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 of the shows as a yes guest star. The shuttle maker extraordinaire. <laughs> Indeed. You know what's going to happen? I'm going to put this together. Uh, be quite happy with the joints and the seams, and then as soon as it goes into primary, it'll be ah, okay, <laughs> yeah, and okay, miss that one. <laughs> I dance again, shall I? <clears throat> now, how can there be such a big gap on there? Oh my goodness. I can see there's going to be a lot of that as well. Where's that gap come from? Yeah. Where's that one come from? <laughs> I don't see this gap in the instructions. <laughs> no, that way up. There we go. No, wrong way around. Oh, for goodness sake. Right, that's the wings together. Now we're going to want some sprue glue on the back of that. Get some of that on in a minute. Some rubbish. Tighten the bench up a little bit. got your two halves up together oh, partially that's something we're going to need some rubber bands partially i am uh, i am literally um, about halfway glued and incredibly unsatisfied with my efforts so far yeah. but i just want to try and get this the rear section in if i can yeah and then they all come together like it's meant to. Yes. Mm. So Lynn's saying, where's dad? He should be in chat. Uh, Lynn, it depends on which uh, stream you're watching this on and which one dad's watching this on, because we are live on both Making Models and the Model Officer's Mess. So Mike is here, but you might be very well be watching on different channels, because Mike is saying, I love all the shuttles. A model maker's kit, lol. <laughs> well, that's that certainly is what it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. I can yeah. concur. Yep. So, everyone's just saying hi to each other. And, and Dave's saying, yeah, he's over there, Lynn. Oh. Graham McRobert is saying, oh, the shuttle kit, I still have nightmares. Mine went out the window. And William Rayborn saying, be right back. Have to go to the shop to get some brake cleaner. Oh, looks like someone's stripping off a model. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, wipe and swipe shuttle shaped C card units, Gap City. It seems to be, yeah. Certainly on the back side, it is. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. So Lynn saying, I wish I could archive this show so I can build along when I start this fund. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it will be up on uh, both channels. Yeah. Once this is finished, it will get saved into the videos, shall we say. Well, they will be here. I say we're not going to be here every week at the same time. Maybe very well, well, the next time we're both free, it'll be a Wednesday or Thursday or we don't want to go stepping on anybody else's toes, so we may just keep it to a Friday. But just come on when we're both available. So. I think, to be honest, that it's good in that respect because I think there's going to be a lot of... Uh, I need to walk away from this moment. Yes. Yeah, have a week so off. That's, that's beneficial to us. Yeah. Even the quick setting Tamiya's going, oh my god, not the Revell kit. Why did you buy this? <laughs> Don't you watch YouTube channel videos? Crazy people. Yeah. <laughs> We've both gone at it a different way. Well, I've tried. Tried to stick to the instructions as best I can. Um, because, I, funny enough, actually, it was one of the things in which I was thinking about this. How how was I going to build it? And uh -huh. I did take the instructions out of the, the box and have a quick sneak peek. Yeah. Um. And if I'm completely honest, I put the instructions back in and went, no, I will just build it as per instructed. Yeah. But I felt like I was cheating. Right. And and to be honest, the, the, <laughs> the other part is, I could have really completely cheated and just gone with a resin. <laughs> yeah. Carl's going to build the, the kit and I'm going to build a resin. Done! <laughs> Yeah, glue, glue, glue. Come on, keep up. <laughs> okay, so... The report so far. Mm -hmm. Oh God! It's going to be a comment from my wife in a minute. Of there's no change there. Then I'm struggling to find the hole. Uh. Well, that's really bad. Yeah, so basically, um, as you look at the engine, or the, the back part here, uh -huh. 
Uh, top left hand side is a tab, a tab to be careful of. Right. Um, because it's actually mismolded, or it is on mine anyway. Yeah. Um, so keep an eye on that because that will create issues for you with your fitting the plate in. Very the good. hinge, the hinge effect at the back here is got quite a bit of um, what do you call it? Splash, splash, no splash. Yeah. Um, Can't you take the nubs off? Yeah, I almost did. So obviously when that lines up that doesn't line up in that hole at all which worries me right we shall leave this bad boy right. you're gonna stay upright Oh, I'll have the same again. So that's Lynn away. She's saying, I've got to work. Have a great day, everybody. I'll catch the rerun. Thanks, James and Carl and Hugs. Same to you, Len. Yeah, same to you. Uh, oh, and we've jumped again. <laughs> and Dave is saying it's time to get the grinders out. <laughs> Almost. Almost. And Graham McRoberts say it sounds like a joiner's workshop with them sanders. <laughs> ah, right, yes, that might. So people are starting to jump onto both channels or switching, switching over the channels. Everyone's saying hello, everybody on this side. <laughs> uh, and uh, Dan's saying I'm going to need WD-40 on my neck by the end of this. LOL. <laughs> Mike's saying I bet Lisa is choking with the dust behind you, Carl. Probably. How are you doing, dear? Gotta wait for that 10 second delay. Oh, he's typing a response now. And uh, Dave's saying uh, they have the yet to do the boosters. Apparently, the boosters aren't too bad, so I've heard. <laughs> so I've heard. The be probably the best part of the kit, or the best fitting part of the kit, shall we say. Yeah. 
Yes, it's going to be very interesting, without a doubt. feeling we might lose quite a bit of this service detail on this kit yeah yeah <laughs> by the time we've sanded it all down and cleaned it up and done this and done that it's a shame because it's, it's, there's a reasonable amount of surface detail on this yeah over exuberant with the sprue goo there If I'm not in chat at the moment, I am just concentrating a moment. Wow. Hmm? Did you you said your your wings fit together quite well, didn't they? Reasonably, yeah. Yeah, mine's not. I've still got to put some sprue glue on, fill the leading edges and the back. But the actual fit isn't so bad. I'm literally just putting the sprue on just to fill that tiny little bit of thingy. I think I'm being a little bit over picky, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So I just got, I just wanted to fit a couple of pieces together and just see. How they how they went, uh -huh. um, and there's a lot of um, mismold on the edges, right? So there's going to be quite a bit of sanding down before I can glue it together. I hate that plastic clamps. Stay. What'd you do? Oh, they just pinged off. Ah. Uh, Mm, yeah. I now have extra work. Three pieces. The 24 hours dry time. <laughs> uh, that should be fun. So, right. What's going on in chat? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, and there's Dave saying, uh, oh no, Scott saying, I'm doing a full start to finish build series on a mini art kit, James. Going to be fun and figuring out how to explain those instructions to people. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. What's wrong with mini art? I don't think I've. I've got some mini art figures, but not a kit. They, they can be a bit, um, a bit all over the place. Okay. Any anything like, so let's say, dragon? I, I th they're comparable, I, I guess, with with a lot yeah. of different. Uh, you know, the, the, in my experience, what I've done, um, there's not that many instructions that are super straightforward. You know, it is what it is. There are always a little bit of um, differences. Yeah, different manufacturers. Um, 
But at least you've got instructions, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Scott. Some uh, Scott, sorry, yes. Um some yeah, of the ones I've done haven't even got instructions. Not that they're that difficult to work out, but mm. Yeah, and uh, Mike is saying boosters aren't too bad on this one. It's the payload doors that will be a challenge. That'll be fun then. And Lisa's saying, yeah, she's not too bad at the moment. She's opened the window. <laughs> and Dave's saying, oh, yeah, the Informus doors, LOL. These people are making me nervous, James. I'm not taking any notice. I'm, I'm sure it'll be. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be really easy, and you know, we'll, we'll get to the end of it. We'll be saying, "What? What was that all about? Why? Why was everyone so worried?" <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Dan is saying Lisa's craft station didn't have to open a window. I can just put my boots back on. <laughs> Yes, lovely. Oh, and we've been joined by Mark from Edinburgh Modelling Man Cave. That's in Edinburgh, for those of that you don't know. Saying, uh, afternoon, gentlemen, and all on chat. I finished work and off to the model shop as it's payday. Oh, I wonder what Mark's going to buy us. Something nice, I hope. Well, I hope so. Yeah. We would have deserved it by the time we finished this. <laughs> yeah, Davison, get the snowblower out for sanding dust. Yes. Yes, the food will be out in a bit. Oh. Everyone's saying hi to Mark. And we have Dave joining us saying afternoon, folks. So, afternoon, Dave. He's going to quote you, James. Mike is going to quote you saying, quite a bit of sanding, LOL. <laughs> and Dave saying, hang on, did Carl just clean his desk onto the floor? I did indeed, just the dust. Yeah. The sprue bits go into the bin, but the dust goes on the floor and then gets hoovered up. <laughs> and Dave is saying, isn't that like saying Ragnarok is a little bit apocalyptic? <laughs> and uh, Mike is saying to Mike, Mike is saying to Mike, Mike is saying to Mark, go for the shuttle kit, lol. I do believe Mark already has this kit half built. Yes, he has, um, he has the shuttle mm -hmm. <coughs> just there on the left uh, under his desk. Yeah. So he is, he has started this. Is it this kit or is it a different one? I think it is this kit. I think it is this kit. <laughs> what have you done? Oh, I've done nothing. I've just seen just seen the amazing oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. There's Mark confirming he has the shuttle kit, but it's still in primer stage. I'm just um I just thought I'd have a look, see how that glass sits in nicely to the <laughs> cockpit. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Nice is not nice is not the word I would use. <laughs> oh, that's horrendous. Thank you, Ravel. <laughs> wow. In fact, you know, actually, I, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Um, there's only one other model I've made. No, yeah. sorry. One other model I've attempted to make with such poor fitting cockpit area. Yeah. Uh, and that was a seeking from Airfix. Oh. Did you finish it? Uh, no, I bought loads of PE for it and uh, I put it all back in a box and Hoping someone will buy it from me at some point. Okay. Is it part started? 
Uh, no, no, no. I, I don't think so. Did I? No, I don't think so. I think I, I, I started dry fitting stuff together to see what it would look like and yeah. how the PE was going to go, and then went. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my goodness! Even the, the that is a terrible cockpit window. It's not even clear, is it? No. Okay. No, it's yeah. it's got more bubbles in it than like the champagne. <laughs> yes. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's I don't know about yours, one. but that's my see, mine's the same. Very much the same. Oh, I'm out. Now, are you able to fit that before? Can you see that, that baffling? Yes, mine's very much the same. Mine's Beautiful. got actual, it looks like scratch marks inside the plastic. I wouldn't say they were bubbles, they look more like scratch marks inside the plastic. How old is this kit? Uh, this kit, that's a good question. You, know, you could almost say this was molded by hand. Oh. Certainly was blown by hand. <laughs> Cut that off and have a look. So this kit, uh, 04736, uh, is a rebox and it dates back to uh, 1977. Okay, so it's quite an old kit then. Yeah. Oh dear. I have a feeling that this cockpit may not have a window in it when this kit is finished. <laughs> so it's not a matter of shaving that off. You're actually going to have to build that up the other side. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's going to be filler. Yeah. Um, milliput. Um, all sorts. I mean, I, there is one thing in which I'd like to say to Revell, thank you very much, uh -huh. um, is that they made sure on this top part, this back window, there's a bit, a nice bit of flash on those two bits that come together. And uh, thank you for that, because if you use the glue in the right way, you can melt, mold it or sort of melt it into the gap. So it's like pre... <laughs> pre <laughs> filled it for you. <laughs> yeah. They pre thought that through. <laughs> yeah, you won't need this pre wheel on that one. But actually, do you know what? <laughs> That's given me the best joint on this thing already. <laughs> Look. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. That is that is the best joint on this shuttle beyond <laughs> uh... Oh, that's fantastic. I love that. Yeah. And Scott's asking again if you'd like to borrow his special Revel adjustment tool. I've got one in the garage. <laughs> in the garage, in the shed. Yeah, I've got one in my toolbox. Don't you worry. He's thinking of the same lump hammer that I'm thinking of. Oh, yes. Well, actually, my, my one's probably got a bit of a um, a bigger handle to it. <laughs> he can he'll run up it, run up at it from behind, slop it one. So, uh, <laughs> Davis, uh, is it, who is it? Who's that? Is that quite a man? Dan, the man. And I think. You should keep the sanding dust to trick people called Lisa that they have a dandruff problem. Just don't grasp me up to um, Lisa. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, Mark is saying he used about half a pot of Mr. Surface of 1200 on it. And, and Mike say, no, 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 the glass does not fit, let alone nicely. And Dave's saying, oh my God, it's 40 plus years old. Yeah. And Mark yeah. is laughing at the glass as well. And uh, Danny saying, I'm just going to hide behind the sofa before Lisa reads chat and pulls out the ninja throwing stars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and the doors are the best surface detail, but they will definitely be lost. Oh dear. Never mind. And chat's just jumped again. <laughs> Screw blues, but hammer time. <laughs> And Mark is saying uh, it took him three weeks to get anywhere near smooth and perfect. Crack on, lads. It's all right, we've got plenty of time. Yeah, and Frankie's saying it's good to see them still laughing. Yeah, this is show one, so we are still laughing. And Mike's saying no, not for much longer, Frankie. LOL. Um, uh, Mark is saying, I'll go to B&Q for extra polyfiller for you. <sighs> no need. Already been. <laughs> no. Plenty of filler. I might just like mold it all around the thing and then just say, there you go, finished. Well, you remember that picture, don't you? Which one? When I showed you the shuttle, yes, that was yes. yeah. That that's why it's in a mountain. Very true. Yeah, yeah. And someone there, uh, Mark is saying to to be honest, I give full respect to Steve on finishing that kit and making it look so good. Yes, indeed. Yes, he did a fantastic job finishing this kit off. Yes, he got the boosters first though, if you noticed. Okay, so you're getting on. I um, I, I've got the main body put together. Yep, all the way along. Nice. Um, yeah, there is some, <laughs> there is some seam work. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, only bit of sprue glue I've used is on the back bit here. Yeah um the rest is is okay and obviously on the rear plate here for the engines yeah you put what's um, in there have you no i for now yeah uh but yes that is going to need some putty without doubt yeah um uh, we're definitely gonna need some putty underneath oh yeah most definitely uh, um although mm, yeah yeah, it's going to need something without a doubt. Yeah. Most definitely. The only bit that's making me really nervous is the cockpit window. To be honest, I, I know I'm going to eat my words at some point, but I think actually that probably will be fairly simple to rectify. Uh, I'm fairly okay with that. It's, don't worry, it's going to be a nightmare. Hmm. Um, but I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got any elastic bands, dear? Uh, I think there's some downstairs, I'm not sure. How smooth that isn't. Thank you. 
quiet and concentrated, hasn't it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it has. Um, I might have had a bit of luck on the base on the bottom of the shell here. Once mine's glued, there's not going to be any gap. It's going to need fill, filler on it to level it. But there's no real gap. No, I've got it level. You've got it level as well. I've got it level. Um, what I've done, uh, what I've done is I've used my um, chisel. Right. Just very gently, really, really gently. Hardly any pressure on it. Going across the the joint. Mm -hmm. Like so, there's still a little bit of a step there, a little bit. And I think what I'll do, yes, I think what I'll do is I'll literally, that's, I'll run a little bit of putty down there filler yeah just to smooth it off that edge a little just, bit just just to make sure because it's it's fairly smooth already you say mine's not doing too bad either i'm surprised because i i was expecting that to be a real bitch Slightly different matter on the front. somewhere safe did you yeah don't know yeah where, but i'll put it somewhere safe as long as it's safe that's all that matters yeah probably on the floor somewhere i can't see if i'm looking so what can we do next So it does have a full payload in there. I may very well make it so, if I can, that you can just lift the whole back end off and look inside. Sorry, I was just turning my earphones off. Got a bit of a headache. What did I miss? Hmm. Bum, bum, bum. Hmm. Pieces, the engines are two pieces, the engine the jet comes. So have you got your um the mainframe put together? No. Okay. No, it's being held together at the moment. Uh-huh. But it's not glued yet. Because I've sprue glued this. I'm waiting for this to dry. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then once that's sanded off, it'll all get glued together. Uh, the wings are together, sanded down, cleaned up with sprue glue on the seams. Didn't need a huge amount on the seams, but I've done the whole seam anyway. Mm -hmm. and that's where I'm up to at the moment. I'll just look and see if there's anything else I can put together. So, there should be two of those. Mm. 
There it is. They look horrible. Oh my goodness. What are you looking at? The, the, the rear engines on the shuttle itself, the ones that are in two pieces. Thankfully, the bigger ones with all the detail on are single piece. These nice big ones are single pieces, so that's quite nice. Mm hmm. But the small ones that fit on the, the sides, board, on the sides, uh -huh. are two pieces, and they're quite small. Oh God, really? And they are a horrendous amount of flash on them, and I mean horrendous. Uh, wow! <laughs> so. So Mark's come up with a good idea there. Oh, no. Mike is saying you both need to lie down in a dark room after this one. <laughs> and Dave's saying, does the shuttle have a weight limit? Not too much filler, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark is saying he actually filled the window. I filled the window and I would mask it off and spray it black as a decal goes over the top of it. The join between the wings and body needs to have a slight curve. Filler time. <laughs> and uh, David's saying, so it's a little, I'm going to actually put this one up because it needs to be shown because of all the pointy uh, fingers. So it's a little bit of putty there, 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 <laughs> there, there, a big bit there, 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 there. And there, and a bit there will be made of putty. <laughs> I love the fact he's done all the fingers pointing. In. That must That's have taken him a few moments to do that. <coughs> <laughs> that is from a film. At least you'll tell me what film it is in a minute. Brilliant. I uh, oh, can't remember the name of it now. It's from a Pixar film. Or a Disney film. Or the animated ones. I can't remember. Oh. Mark is saying, then there's those ghosts that seem to appear everywhere after you think you're done. Yeah, I, I can see. Mm -hmm. I can see where there might be some of those. Yeah. Microfiller primer will be your friend. Yeah, I think this is going to end up probably being primed two or three times. Primed, sanded, primed, sanded. Yeah. Just to fill in those bits. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a good move. Yeah, and Dave's, Dave's on the summer thing. Some more putty there, there, there. Oh, and there. <laughs> And Dan's saying you need to keep that uh, cockpit safe so you don't scratch the bubbles. <laughs> I've actually lost it. I don't know where it's gone. But I might uh, take Mark upon his idea there and actually just fill in it. That's not a bad idea, I've got to be honest. Yeah. And uh, Mark is saying it would be easy to build the real thing. Okay. David's saying, fit the doors, fit the doors. Dan saying, I may have had a go at this kid and I may have accidentally crashed into my claw hammer. <laughs> oh, and we've been joined by a Mr. Steve over at Totally Scale Model soon. Hope you've got plenty of filler. Indeed. He has. Yes. Saying, I will send you a Revel flash removal tool, Carl. Over the hedge. That was it. I knew Lisa would know. So, yeah, got plenty of filler. Look, Steve. Tons of the stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. It's 
Steve is saying you've got the right color background. What the blood? Yeah, no, you'll be seeing plenty of red mist. <laughs> <laughs> An emphasis on the sanding. So, that's us caught up with chat. So we are. We've been going for two hours. Good grief, really. Yeah. So I think I'm going to wind it up there. Okay. Two hours. So. We'll go over to yourself first so we can take a look at what you've managed to get done. So, okay. so let me just turn this comment off because I left it off for some reason. Uh, <laughs> and Steve's saying that should start you off, Carl. So we are going to wind up. We're going to take a quick look at where James has got up to. So we will make James a uh, full screen. There we go. So what have you managed to get done, James? Okay, so um, I've got all the wing segments off. Uh, they're busy being deflashed, uh, yep. sanded and prepared to get together. Uh, you can see by the the whiteness everywhere. <laughs> um, I mean, these are the bits, obviously, from the sprue. Yeah. The rest is all flash that's been removed, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So there's plenty of that to be going around. Yeah. Um, As Mike said, it's a, a model build. So it's good because I was going to make some more sprue glue. Yeah. Uh, and that's that will go nicely into my little pot of sprue glue. So that's cool. Yes. So uh, the actual main frame itself is glued together. Resection glued together. A little bit of sprue glue in the back part here. Yeah. Um, it's not smooth enough, but it's fairly smooth uh, on the nose. And as I say, the bit here where the flash was on the on the rear, yeah, rear window, is actually the best joint on the kit so far because it, it's just melted the glue into the hole. So, yeah, thank you, Ravel. Uh, the underneath is again uh, not smooth enough, but not too bad actually, better than I thought it would be. Um, and that's it. That's where I'm up to. How about nice. yourself? Cool. So myself, I have not got as far on the main body. Um, it's sitting together at the moment. Nothing's glued in. This is glued into one side, this back panel here, but not the other. So that is just being held together. The reason being, I can't fit this back piece yet because I've gone and stuck it together, but I put some sprue glue around the edges just to take that seam line out. So I'm just waiting on that to dry before I can glue any of that together and i got the wings together while i was obviously waiting for that and that so the wings are together went together quite well i've gone and edged the edges with more sprue goo don't think it needed at all of that but yeah just to tidy it up a bit so both of those are done just waiting on them to dry but this you know this stuff takes like at least 12 hours to dry properly before you can really get at it with the sander so that's where I'm up to, and I've lost my cockpit window. So it'll turn up. I'll find it in a bit. I probably pushed it somewhere underneath something. So, so that's where we're up to. So, so far, what are you thinking of the kit? Um, yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think it's the best phrase to give is, is yeah, it's uh, it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, um, I, I'm. I'm not saying I'm looking forward to the challenge, but it's going to be a challenge without a doubt. Yeah. Um, and the interesting part for me, obviously, is because we, because I'm I'm 3D printing. Um, so mm. far, I would say that um, 3D printing might be winning slightly. <laughs> um, but yeah, those that you that do 3D printing know it's not quite as simple as that. <sighs> yeah uh, so uh yes yeah so, yeah and how about yourself what do you think of it so far is it as horrendous as you thought it would be no actually no because i think the bottom of that's going to be quite simple to do it's just just a lot of sanding yeah which i really don't mind to be perfectly honest um because 
did you ever see the monogram what's the name of that plane i built what was it the what water plane done? that lands on the water catalina. Uh, catalina yeah i took the whole nose off of that and that all got filled and that with Millie put and all the rest of it, and that took an age to, to sand down mm. and print. So, yeah, I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's going to take a lot of time, I think. Mm. That's going to be the thing. It's going to be the gaps in between, which might actually help with the build because you can be able to do a bit, then it's going to be have to be left to dry out properly. Yeah. So I think there's going to be a lot of that with the kit. But other than that, like I yeah, say, there's some lovely surface detail on it. It's just a shame we're going to lose it. Yeah, you're certainly going to lose some of it, without a doubt. Um, yeah. Like all this on the side of the shuttle here. Once you get in and you start sanding this seam where the wind goes in, there's a good chance you're going to lose some of that. Yeah, but you, you were saying that that fit reasonably well. Yes, there's not a huge gap, but there's still a gap. Yeah. So you are going to have to fill it and sand it. Mm. But you know what sanders are pretty indiscriminate on what they sand off when you start going at it yeah 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 definitely uh, yeah but other than that uh chat is saying uh dave's saying just think they have to fit the shuttle to the boosters and uh dan is saying two hours you got 0 0.000000000001 percent of the sanding done well done yeah, and Mark is saying they're speechless at the quality of it. <laughs> did, did we mention the word quality? I'm not sure. I don't think we did. <laughs> it might have been some other sort of swear word that we mentioned. Mm. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. It's... Wait till you put the undercarriage bay doors. On. <coughs> yes. On the wings? Yes, they are on the wings. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it it um it certainly goes back to that that um, long talked about thing as you know are some kits really needing to be retired? <laughs> yes. Um, and I yeah, I said, you look at a kit like this. You say, what was this? Nineteen seventy four? Seventy four, seventy six. I think it was something like that. Yeah, and then you look at something like what Mark has just built, that Panther from Tamiya, and yeah. how well that goes together, and how well that's lasted. That's probably because to me you've done probably brand new molds. Whereas it's highly unlikely Rebel have made new molds. They just keep on using the same ones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they may have they may have even had them re rescribed or something like they might have done something to them because they are good some of their top sellers. Or mm. or they may just have a, a warehouse somewhere full of them. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean this is this is the sad thing about some model kits is that you know um not necessarily the subject but the fact that this is what's available yeah you know they're gonna like i said at the beginning you know this kit against a 3d kit that you print yourself hmm yeah that isn't gonna be the same with every subject it really isn't no. um but you know when you when you have a, a an item like this and you're thinking well do you know what do i want to play with a what's that a 50 something year old kit yeah um yeah yeah well let's see let's, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna rule it out quite yet no no we'll see how we get on, <coughs> we'll see how we get on. Hmm. oh nat's joined us saying hi everyone in chat hi james hey, and carl so we are just winding down that so welcome so i think on that note we're done for this episode on that bombshell so mm. watch uh watch facebook watch um making models group page watch model officers group page and a few of the other group pages like steve's or dexterous crafters uh, model making trucker places like that and we shall hopefully post up when the next show will be on so we're not sure ourselves yet, but it shouldn't be too long. It should not be too long at all. And you can come and join and have a giggle at us trying to build this beautiful kit. So <laughs> it is 
a goodbye from him. Goodbye. And it is a goodbye from me. So thank you all again for coming along and joining in chat and giving us some hints and tips on, like I say, this beautiful and wonderful kit. And we shall catch you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.